other direction. Hmm. Okay, we're going down underwater to follow it. Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome back to No Man's Sky, episode 41, where there's, there's really a lot that we want to do. As always with this game, there is so, so much to do. I think we're going to go ahead and install our weapons terminal here. And now, we need to find ourselves a Viking for our weapons terminal. So let's switch our quest really fast. And see if it gives us a notification. Target outside local system. That's what I thought. So instead... Base computer archives online. Archives available. Let's go ahead and check this. I think this is going to give us a new blueprint. So we can reset the timer for it. Automated archive recovery in progress. Data recovered 15%. New data available. Oh, uh, which one do I want to, I guess, search the archives? Entry 4925 follows. My exosuit has directed me to a crashed starship because its controls react to my touch and I can only assume it belongs to me. No memory of it, no sense of a before. Additional data available, construction logs recovered, blueprints reassembled and prepared for download. Excellent. Exosuit technology data extracted, downloading plans, personal upgrade modules synthesized from data scraps. Readable archive retrieval complete, beginning defragmentation of next segment. Okay. Mining beam module C. Oh, that would be in our exosuit. Right, so let's install that on our multi-tool. Why not? Might as well. Heat dispersion plus 10. I think let's go ahead and we're going to break this and break this and we're going to put our visor down here. So we need one carbon nanotubes for that. And we don't have any carbon. More importantly, though, we're going to need oxygen. That's the big thing. No oxygen is going to get us fairly... get us in trouble fairly quickly. So let's go ahead and make ourselves an analysis visor so we can locate some oxygen. Because I don't like being without that. That's just dangerous. So now if we put our analysis visor here, we should get a little bit of synergy with that. And then if we remove our scanner, we can put the scanner over here. And then here we can install the advanced mining laser, which is going to be one carbon nanotubes and one hermetic seal. A little bit of rearranging. We can't do that. Where's the hermetic seal? That is condensed carbon. Okay. Very technology... Alien artifact. Ah, uh, there we go. The hostile flora, I know for a fact, will give us oxygen. So let's let's go ahead and we'll hunt these down. It's inside this rock. Oh, that is also pure ferrite and paraffinium.
Then we can get some oxygen. And I think before we do much of anything else, we'll recharge our life support. Knowledge stone. All right, let's continue gathering our carbon. Why does the base computer archives want us to build a save point? That seems a little silly. We'll just keep scanning. Ah, uh, here's some condensed carbon up here. Carbon crystals. You know, we could have taken our motorcycle. No, no. We're not... I'm not... I don't have time for your reindeer games. So I'm sorry about that. Alright, and then here we'll build the advanced mining laser. There, now we sort of have everything... arrayed how we want for now. Well enough, anyways. We need to continue gathering oxygen. And we're absolutely going to go after some of these buried technology modules. How about some pure ferrite? I don't suppose I can call my exo craft to me, can I? Yes, I can. Oh, I love that. I do, I really love that. Okay, great. So let's just drive around, check out the countryside a little bit. We'll learn some new words. Corvax word for topic. See, I can't use my visor or scan. Hold on. Yeah, it's not going to let me... The only technology upgrades it's going to let me install are for sliding and turning and drifting. Oh, that sentinel doesn't like me in a vehicle? Oh, because I ran over the rock. Whoops! Sorry! You just got to get over it, though. Oh, well, there we go. Another buried technology module. I accept. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! That's a new life form. Far sighted and collects seeds. Doesn't seem to be aggressive, but it looks a little monstrous. It's quite a crustacean. See, look at that. Driving around on the motorcycle, we're already discovering new life forms. Wait. I was going to say, I know I saw a buried technology module over here. Come on. <clears throat> Thank you. So what next? Some sodium. Ooh, here's some oxygen plants. 
I do wish I could use my scanner from the Exocraft. That seems like a little bit of a... Oversight, maybe? I don't know. Alright, well, let's continue to recharge our life support. And we need to continue to gather oxygen. Let's see how well this thing does with rough terrain. Oh, piece of cake! Kind of a short boost. It does all right, though. We're back at the Work Hill Pasture. Something tells me exactly unknown building. Okay, let's work our way over to this unknown building. Gathering oxygen along the way. Corvax word for reset. As in, my data core received a hard reset when its memory was wiped. Ooh. Really? So you guys are still going to attack me while I'm in my exocraft. That's really a thing, huh? Thanks for the O2. You better just figure out what your issue is. I've about had it with these sentinels. I mean, had it. We got some condensed carbon. The word for primary. Alright. Ooh, ooh. Easy. Easy does it. Okay. There's still a little bit of squirreliness there. Wait. How is this an unknown building? There's nothing here. Just an unknown sector to chart. The work L pasture. All right, let's find some. I saw O2 on the map. Now I don't. Uh, it doesn't stay very long. I suppose there's always room for some condensed carbon. No, hold on. That's going to be tricky to navigate over. A couple of artifacts over there. There's another artifact down here. I thought there was a buried technology module nearby. Corvax word for silicates. Oh, look, it's like... The terrain just comes up and over this water. That's kind of neat. I really thought that Curious Deposit. I really thought it said there was a buried technology module over here in this direction, but I don't see it. There it is. It's on the other side. Ah. 
Um, I think we're going to check out this curious deposit first. And then we'll head back over here. Oh, just... Look at that sky with those planets and that sun. I really do like this planet. Like, a lot, a lot. So we can drive around... Or we can just try to launch ourselves over and through the water. And you know which option I'm going to pick. Hmm. There we go. Piece of cake. Carbon crystal. Well, that goes deep. Oh, that's the entrance to a cave there. What the heck is going on here? The Sentinel better find some other place to go. Missing components? No, yeah, whatever. Ugh! No! Okay, so what if I shoot it the other direction? Hmm. Okay, we're going down underwater to follow it. What? Abyssal Horror? Okay. I'm not a fan of this. At all. Let's just see what's in this crystal so we can get out of here, shall we? Ooh, a carbon crystal. It's quite a deep little trench here. Sure, there's nothing else in the water out to get us. What is this thing? It's taking like no damage. Okay, let's just leave it alone. I'm thinking. Like, we'll just leave it well alone. We'll just stay away from that thing. Mm. So I've got a carbon crystal. High comp hyper compressed carbon. The substance's dense nanostructure makes it highly valuable as both an energy source and a technology component. Synthesized from condensed carbon. Hmm. I don't think we need the one cobalt there. Well, I kind of want to get one more now. How are we... We're missing ferrite dust. We literally have no ferrite dust. Well, I know where we can get some. And these are just going to go splashing into the water the minute I do something to them. Destabilized sodium. Tetracobalt. Oh, they're not all carbon crystals. Well, I don't want them to go flopping down into the water again. 
I think we're just gonna leave them be for now. Hey, you come back. Whoa, oxygen. That's what I'm looking for. Can't scan in the vehicle. We head back the way we came. We'll be able to go get those technology modules. How are we doing on oxygen now, real quick? 205, so I think... Gather or refine super oxide crystal. Whoa! What are these? Sentient plant. These are going to give us those gravitino balls. Not what we're after right now, but thank you for trying. We are going to grab a little more oxygen. I need like a big exocraft. One that we can scan from and harvest from. That's what we need. There we go. I love catching those little bits of air. That's fun. Hmm. Oh, oh no, what have I done? Oh, we can't. We can almost ride it up, but not quite. Okay, this is really concerning. So we're going to drive along the, the wall of this thing for a little bit. Hmm. And hopefully not see any more big eyeball things. And look for a way out. Ugh, I'm trying to turn. Can we turn, please? I'd like to turn. Thank you. There we go. Come on. I think the superheated rainstorm shouldn't have any effect on us in our exocraft. There we go. Technology module. And a couple of alien artifacts. And I guess we'll head we'll head on back after that. Nope, here they are. Right next to each other. Got the Corvax word for excess and holy. All right, let's head on back to our starship at this time. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oxygen City. Oh, this is great. 
it's all in finding the right cluster of plants. Now we won't need oxygen again for a while. I'm a bit of a fan of this uh, this little motorbike. Crushing the local rocks. Not the trees, though, just the rocks. The trees stop you in your tracks. Leave me alone, Sentinels. I don't have time to answer you. Does make does make travel a lot easier with being able to explore the local area without having to fly your ship all around. I'm a big fan of that. I guess we don't have to dock this back on the pad every time, but I like to. All right, let's see if we can make this super oxide crystal. I'll take this pure ferrite and I will give you oxygen and carbon. What if I put carbon in here? We get condensed carbon. What if I give you condensed carbon? I bet it has to be one of these carbon crystals. No. Hmm. Super Oxide Crystal. Craft a refined Super Oxide Crystal from Oxygen. Refining advanced products requires a large refiner. So if I had to guess, that means it's a three part... Because if it requires a large refiner, then it's got to be three different things, right? Ooh, Selenium. No, what about... No. I'm sure this carbon crystal is part of the equation. Maybe it's two parts oxygen. I'm not really sure. Mordite, perhaps? See, that just makes a lot of condensed carbon. Hmm. Craft a refined super oxide crystal from oxygen. It says craft or refine. I don't think we can craft it yet. Copyright and gamma root. Lubricant and glass. If only there was a place you could look at. Hmm. 
carbon, crystal, and oxygen seems like that would be the obvious thing. But that's not doing it. So let's try putting the carbon crystal there, and then let's try something else. Could try Mordite. No. I think we already tried phosphorus with this. If we take the oxygen out, we get nothing. Maybe some chlorine. It's got the name in red, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Tetracobalt. No. We could try... I mean, at this point, we could just cycle through everything, but it doesn't mean we're going to find it. Oxygen and rust will oxidize metal. That's... okay. I get, I get why that's the case, but why would you want to do that? Oxygen and sodium makes oxygen nitrate. Oxygen and chlorine. Wow, makes a lot more chlorine. 2 to 6 and 1 to 6. See, that's interesting to know. So you can make a lot more chlorine if you just mix it with... If you just mix it with oxygen. There's got to be like a database we can search for these. What about star bulb? Turns into carbon. Huh. Hmm. Let's see what else we have. Let's... We could try some dihydrogen. I feel like it's going to take three things, though. Maybe if we do some dihydrogen, rapid formation, evaporation, salt, okay. Um, maybe now some carbon? No. What about, um, oh, yeah, we have this tritium. No. No, oh, there it is. Oh, wow, so it's 100 oxygen to 50 tritium. Ah, we just happened to find it. There's got to be a way to find these blueprints somewhere. Oxygen nucleation. What does the tooltip say for tritium? Radioactive isotope commonly used to fuel fusion reactors. Doesn't say anything about... Okay. So it's just, it's just the experience of knowing what to do. So all we need is the superoxide crystal, and then we'll get a plasma launcher on our weapon, and then we might go take on the other place. In the meantime, though... I believe we're supposed to yeah, scan planetary creatures. I got that. Construct a save point. The game is literally asking me to build a save point. How is that? I feel like we've built one of these before. Maybe not, though. And then dihydrogen jelly. We don't have the dihydrogen required? We're gonna fix that. How about... just... yeah. Okay, so then... 
That's what we'll do. We'll make ourselves a save point because that's what they want. Just put it right here. Save point constructed. Store point saved. Okay. Sure. Why not? That's not what the archives taught us, though. The archives gave us... See, I don't even know. I have to, I have to figure out what this base salvage capsule is all about. Okay, that looks like a good a place as any to wrap up episode 41. We'll have to make the plasma launcher on the next episode. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've had a good time watching. Be sure and drop a like if you did, because as always, I've had a good time playing. And I would love to see you next time. Make sure you subscribe and ring that bell if you haven't already done so, so that I can see you next time. But until then, take care.